Hey everyone, back again. Welcome back to another video review. This time I'm going to be taking a look at a group of uh, mini cons. Uh, so yeah, we have a total of 11 mini cons. Uh, they're all, I bought these all off of eBay. Some of them were recent, others were previous from previous lines. Uh, we have Blight, Suppressor, Cloudbreaker, Brimstone, uh, not Dive Bomb, uh, yeah, Skyhammer, Long Arm, Deep Dive, Overcast, uh, that's two duplicates just for variety and uh, I believe Thunderclash. Yeah, I don't know what his name, I think. Yeah, it's been a while since I've reviewed knew the Minicon's name, so yeah. Um, if you know what this Minicon is, just uh, this one right here, the white one, let me know. But anyways, we're going to take a look at the plane first. His alternate mode is a fighter plane. Uh, his primary colors are gray and white. Some black. Uh, I just have the Minicon symbol right there, but other than that, that's it. Transformation is very simple. I just want to flip up the wings. Full, full tap the tail fins, fold the legs downward halfway, take the take the entire like cockpit fuse, front front half of the fuselage. Oh. Ah sorry, it's a little bit sharp. For some reason. It's not sharp, but it does poke your already clipped nails. But anyways, you want to split that and that will allow you to fold back these. Lift up the wings. These become the arms. Uh, lift up this entire panel. Um, uh, take this part, flip it up, reveals the face. Fold the rest of the legs down, and there you have him in robot mode. Uh, no head articulation. Arms go up and all the way around, in and out slightly. That's it. Legs can bend inward. That's it. Um, he, the only other color he has is the green on his visor. So, yeah. Um, overall, he's an okay figure, so not a bad figure. Now we're going to have a look at another one of his members. We're going to have a look at Skyhammer. His alternate mode is an A-10 Warhog. His primary color, oh, I'm just going to set him right up to the side there. His primary colors are, um, are dark, uh, are blue, <coughs> some red, and yeah. Uh, some other colors you'll see in a minute, and some white on the cockpit. Transformation is very simple. You just want to split the the split the front, rotate these round, and rotate these round. Fold these back like that, and take the engines, untap them, fold the wings down like this. Reveals the head. And then there's these sliders right here, which slide out his fists. Just want to rotate so the fists face forward. Um, I think you won't be able to see on the camera, but he does have some detailed fists. And there you have him in robot mode. Um, articulation, no head. Uh, arms can bend at the elbow. They can rotate. Fists can go up and down. That's it. Legs can go back. Uh, in and out. Feet bend. That's all the articulation you're going to get out of this guy. Um, overall, not a bad, not a, not a bad figure, but a little bit tricky to stand. So it is a pass. Next, we're gonna have a look at his at the leader, which is Cloudbreaker, a very good homage to the original Generation One Springer. His alternate mode is a an attack helicopter. Uh, again, the blades, like on most helicopter transformers, the blades do spin uh, rear and front. His primary colors are green, black, silver, some yellow painted missile missile pods, <clears throat> and some silver on the cockpit, and that's pretty much it. Transformation is fairly simple. You want to take these, these are going to become the arms, just bend them halfway, take the back here and split it. About halfway you want to flip around the arms. You just want to do that also. You want to take this and just rotate all the way down. Comes the crotch. 
hilarious. He's he has a he has a testicle, testicles or a sack. You know, kind of like Revenge of the Fallen Devastator. But anyways, then you want to fold down the remainder of the arms. Sorry, they're a little bit stiff on mine, which is weird. Take the tail fins, fold them back, and then take uh, the rest of it, fold, flip it back to rebuild his head, and there you have him in robot mode. Articulation, he has no face, uh, no head articulation, uh, arms can bend outward, legs can go out to the side, that's pretty much it. So, much like the original Generation 1 guys, they, they were, they, these guys have less articulation, I don't know why, but... <clears throat> Anyways, let's get on to uh, the next set of mini cons, which yes, I will be reviewing it all in one video. First, we're gonna have a look at Longarm, the leader of their the team. Um, his alternate mode is a crane. Uh, it does have a little claw right there, and he does have a hook, and they both rotate and go up and down. So there you go. Uh, his alternate mode is, like I said, a crane. His primary colors are green, red, purple, and you won't be able to see, but there is a, a detailed Minicon logo uh, right there. So there you go. Transformation is very simple. Just gonna take this front, flip it back. The uh, knees automorph to come the knees. Turn it sideways. Take the rest. Flip it back. There you go. Have long arm and robot mode. Head rot does not rotate. This arm can rotate 360. Can go in and out. Well, well both arms can. He has waist, uh, legs forward and back, bend at the knee. That's pretty much all the articulation you're going to get out of this uh, prank here. So, yeah, not an impressive figure. Well, he's okay, but you really need more articulation. That's the thing I hate about mini cons. Then we have Deep Dive. His alternate mode is a submarine. Uh, you'll see the mini con logo detailed in the cam camo. His primary colors are gray, red, reddish orange, has a purple. Like navy blue camo, so to speak. He does have a mini con port right there. Yeah. And he does have his mini con, other mini con port on his back. Anyways, transformation. You want to take in front of the submarine and you want to split it, rotate it, put the feet down, take the bottom of We All Live in a Yellow Submarine and just. it like that. You want to rotate, rotate the arms around, and then flip up the head, and there you have him in robot mode. Head does go up and down, arms go full 360, out to the side, bend at the elbow, no waist, legs one back, uh, bend at the knee, they rotate, feet bends, that's pretty much it. I mean, he has great articulation, but yeah, a very good pass in my opinion. Finally, we have a look, we'll take a look at um, Overcast. His alternate mode is some sort of a submarine fighter. His primary colors are purple, blue, silver, some details of red, that's pretty much it. He does have some pressure launching pre pressure launching missiles, you know, like as you saw in some previous videos, which do fire, so. Anyways, transformation is very simple. You just want to take legs here, flip them down, lift up the feet, Split the legs, take the undersides, flip them down, take the cockpit, flip it back, uh, flip up his head, and then just push up the cockpit so it becomes his chest. And there you go in robot, there you have him in robot mode. Head does not rotate, arms come up and down, out to the side, missiles fire, no waste, legs form back, in and out, bend to the knee, feet bend, yeah. And a little minor problem I have with this guy is that he's a little bit tr tricky to stand, so yeah. Finally, we're going to take a look at the last three and then my long arm overcast. The, the, these guys came with the Ultimate Battle 2 pack of Optimus and Megatron. I just realized that. Here we have, so we'll have a look at Suppressor first. His alternate mode is a hazmat truck because it has hazmat written on both sides. Primary colors are yellow, black, red, and some silver, and that's pretty much it. Transformation, very simple. Take the back, and then this one on peg, pull the legs, split them. Take the guns right here, which they do rotate. Flip them, 
uh, lift up the <coughs> arms. Uh, then you want to take, then you want to split the cab of the truck like so. Let's split them like this, rotate them down, and the hoses, the, the ca decontamination thingies. Yeah, I also have a little problem with this on mine, or this is just the way it came with, but yeah. But there you have him in robot mode. Um, articulation, arm, head, no head, but arms can rotate full 360, out to the side, bend inward, guns rotate, no way, slice one back, in and out slightly, bend forward, that's it. Now, the problem I have is that this gun here is a little bit loose, very floppy than the other one for some reason, so I have no idea what the deal is, so it could be just his. It could be just the way it was packaged. Could have been somebody else. It could have been, could have been a, a factory error. Brimstone here. His alternate mode is a, as beast mode is a dragon. His primary colors are yellow, green. <coughs> Pretty much all I have to say about that. Um, the uh, jaw opens. Yeah. So. Pretty much all I have to say about that. Transformation is fairly simple. You just want to rotate legs down, and then you want to rotate the tail, take the abdomen, uh, rotate this up, rotate, rotate, and then just <coughs> and then just uh, there you go. There's brimstone in robot mode. Has not rotate. This arm can rotate full 360 in and out. Arms move. The sonic can rotate 360 and then out bend inward. That's it. No waist, legs worn back. Bend at the knee. That's pretty much it. Finally, in the team, we have Blight. His alternate mode is a motorcycle. His primary colors are green, silver, uh, translucent, whatever. That's pretty much it. Transformation is very simple. Just want to unpeg, fold. That the instructions tell you to rotate this around, so I'm just going to do it anyways. Legs around, split the back. On the arms, lift that up to reveal the head. There you have him in robot mode. Up and down articulation on the head. Arms go 360, in and out, that's it. Legs one back, bend at the knee. That's pretty much all you, I have to say about Blight. Then just gonna, just for fun sakes, just gonna transform these copy cat burglar mother mother trucker things. I say Mother Trucker because that's what Kal-El Prime said in his video review of the Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, the movie. Yeah, I'm not going to review any movies or games, but I will mention them. And plus, I'm heading off to TFCon in about a couple of weeks. Overall, if you find all of these mini cons, I would highly recommend picking them up. They are great additions in your collection, and yeah, pretty good. So, that's my review, and... Yeah, I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.